Some Connecticut groups are hoping to curb the violence with music. The Yale University bands, the New Haven Public Schools, the rap, rap group Four Piece, and the U.S. Attorney's Office are coming together for an interesting production. Here to tell us all about it is the director of Yale bands, Mr. Thomas Duffy. Thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Here. Thanks for having me here. Uh, it sounds like a really interesting concert, and, and I'm interested in knowing um, how the partnership and all this evolved. How did it even it's, begin? It's an interesting story. Uh, my sister, Felice Duffy, is an assistant U.S. attorney working in New Haven. Oh. And for years, we've, we've kind of shared our uh, stories of what, what our respective lives have been like working in New Haven. And we, we realized a few years ago we, we have the same thing at heart. We're interested in seeing crime and violence off the streets. I'm an educator. We want to educate students. We're citizens of New Haven at Yale University. Mm -hmm. we, want to, we want to see this message get out there. And what's the best way to do that? There's millions of educational programs around that students go to. Do they have an effect? I don't know. Maybe they do. But we thought, why don't we combine this message with the power of music? So what's the music that students listen to? I was a rock and roll age student. Uh -huh. I listened to Simon and Garfunkel Funkel telling me about bridges over troubled right. waters and things, and I listened to it over and over and over again because I loved the music, and the message became part of my DNA. So uh, the two rappers, uh, Edo G and, and uh, Antonio, who make up Four Piece, have been doing this rap of conscience, this hip-hop message, you know, crime and violence has to stop, start peace. So we decided to host them at Yale University. Two years ago in 2009, we had about uh, 1,100 students come from uh, communities around the state of Connecticut. Uh, communities that had issues with crime or violence or gangs and they they saw on the stage classical musicians hip-hop musicians didn't matter the power of music whatever your music was all combining to present um, the message of crime and violence off our streets, respect for each other, no misogyny, um, an alternative to some of the things that might be tempting and attractive to, to young men and women in school. So is it an original piece of work that you perform or how does that work? It is. The concert begins with a piece of music that I wrote for, for uh, in fact, for the city of Bloomfield, uh, for, oh. their, for their high school bands and, and choir several years ago that involved a hip-hop chorus and, and classical musicians doing this crossover mm -hmm. art phenomenon. Uh, it fits perfectly because there's a a section in the middle where, the, where my, my two rap colleagues jump in and deliver their message. I, del I rap as, as the conductor <laughs> of this band in my tuxedo. So the, the secondary message is hip hop, it doesn't matter. You know, we're all together in this and we're, we're trying to make it work. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, um, I mean, the fusion, I mean, is itself symbolic of, of the message, right? It, 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 it is, is the message. And, and yeah. the third part, the third component is that we, uh, the two rappers gave us 10 backbeats, which we posted on our Yale Band website. And two years ago, and again for this concert next week, middle school students, two years ago high school students, download these beats, wrote their own raps, they spit their own raps to the beats, and uh, the three best were, and will, be picked to perform live in this concert. So three kids, three students from the city of New Haven, will get on stage with professor of music at Yale University, two famous rap artists mm -hmm. and themselves and you know the students just cheer them on it's all about music it's all about this message and and um, I mean does it work you think it's having an impact I mean you had it two two years ago I mean yes be yes because there's great excitement about it happening again mm -hmm. uh, the, you know the rappers and I and my, my sister went into Manson prison in Cheshire last summer to kind of talk about this and we did run into a young man who said I was I was at your concert wow. I, I should have listened you know, uh, yeah. one of the things that happens during this production is that the rappers show a movie that they that they made uh, that talks about what happens when you get picked up for your third felony. Mm -hmm. It's called mandatory minimum, and you know people know that your third in, in Massachusetts your third felony means a year in prison, mandatory. Right. And the movie is about the fact that that the federal agents can can choose from the state charges, pull it up to the federal level, and on the same crime, 15-year mandatory minimum. Wow. So the movie talks about this young man saying, "I can do my year standing on my head." He gets 15 years. So, you know, right. this is part of the concert. The question and answers were stunning. Right. What people thought they knew I mean, about the law. Yeah, I mean, it starts a conversation that uh, perhaps might not otherwise be be started, and also that other kids, otherwise children, might not be engaged in if you're just. Um, you know, in a classroom talking about it. Uh, absolutely right. And these, these, these two artists that I work with have complete street creds. I mean, they were, they were enemies. Wow. Uh, they, you know, they had, they're called Four Piece because four members of their rap group were killed oh, in an no. incident in a basement over a gun. And so they, they, 
decided to collaborate, and they did. That's amazing. So, um, so we're running out of time. So just uh, can people see this concert or no? Because it's for the students of New Haven. It's a closed concert. It's mm -hmm. for middle school students, and you know we want to we want to control the message and and, and the environment. But right. it will be filmed. Uh, we we hope that it will be available at some point later on through through some kind of streamed media. That's fascinating. Um, thanks for coming in to tell us My about pleasure. it. My pleasure. Thanks, thanks very for much. talking to me. Well, don't forget, if you missed something here on The Real Story, you can now watch it online by going to ctnow.com. You can also catch us on YouTube. Thanks for watching this week's edition of The Real Story. We'll see you here again next week.